Hi there and welcome to this overview for Chris Hine Solo Violin. Chris Hine Solo Violin is a comprehensive single instrument for contact player and of course the full version of a native instrument's contact. Whether you're writing for jazz, gypsy style, orchestral or cinematic sound design the Chris Hines solo violin is flexible enough to handle any genre the instrument always sounds completely authentic both within an ensemble and exposed when played solo. Over 10,000 samples have been expertly performed by talented violin player Naomi Binder. You're now watching her play, but what you hear is a complete MIDI recreation of the track, played with the Chris Hines solo violin. Naomi and Chris spent weeks together locked in the studio, researching and performing to reproduce the nuances of a solo violin. Of course, this instrument is really the queen of the orchestra, so expressive and sensitive in tone and timbre. Chris and Naomi found that perfecting a reproduction of all the subtlety of that violin required many different articulations. So with Chris Hine's solo violin, there is every articulation you can think of. 38 articulations have been recorded in the range G2 to F6 most of them with six to eight dynamic layers. In this huge articulation list, you'll find 13 different sustained articulations, 15 different shorts, as well as many special articulations, like slides, runs, trills, and effects. All samples have been recorded dry and in mono, so this provides ultimate flexibility to create your own environment by using onboard convolution reverbs. Two independent convolution reverb channels work together to separately design the body and room for the instrument. Body provides very short impulse responses to design the basic character of the instrument. The room reverb contains 40 authentic impulse responses too. Up to eight dynamic layers offer a wide range of playable dynamics, which goes far beyond the range you may know from other libraries. There are four different dynamic modes to give ultimate performance flexibility. Let's run through those quickly. Keyboard lets you play the up to eight dynamic layers straight from the keys of your MIDI controller, selected by note velocity. Crossfade blends between the dynamic layers via MIDI CC11, that's expression. Thanks to the phase aligned samples, the blend is smooth and has no phasing or artifacts. Keyboard and crossfade is a combination of both previous methods, which lets you play with the velocity sensitive keyboard, but additionally you can control the dynamic with CC11 after the key has been pressed. Auto crossfade performs a dynamic curve which can be edited in the interface. The length of the curve can be adjusted with the length fader. Legato. Chris Hine's solo violin features three different legato transitions. Legato Short performs a smooth fingered legato. In addition to the true legato samples, clever artificial legato scripting fine tunes the transition. This allows really fast and agile legato playing without any delay caused by the transition samples. Even manually played trills are possible. Legato Long is a smooth portmento with adjustable speed recorded with two dynamic layers. The legato works over the whole range of the instrument and over one octave up and down. The legato long sounds especially nice when used with the trill articulations. 
The glide mode is a very flexible way to play realistic runs. You can adjust the speed of the run. This even works whilst the run is playing. Steps sets the amount of notes played by the run. Setting step to a small number performs a rip or grace note. The scale can be set to chromatic, major, different minors, or pentatonic. You can play really crazy fast shimmering cascades with the glide mode, which would be a lot of work to program manually. Even the target note can be assigned individually from the original articulation. This is great for effects like rips. You can easily switch between different legato and glide mode settings by assigning them to different key switches. The note heads are one of the standout features in Chris Hine's solo violin. Note heads provide access to 12 different versions of short articulations with a single fader. You can use them as is to hear the natural ending of the notes. Or you can stack them on top of the sustains which provides a staggering 102 different attack shapes per note. Blending. The blending controls let you blend into a tremolo or trill articulation. This is a more intuitive way to throw in a trill on the fly than using a key switch. Trills and many other functions can also be triggered using the hotkeys. As you can hear, the articulation jumps back to the original when the hotkey is released. Any of the 27 keys at the lower end of the keyboard can be assigned as a key switch or a hotkey. The repeat last note hotkey is great to play fast repetitions. It also works well to play legato on a single note, simulating a realistic bow change. Play a fall. Doigt. Slide up and down. Stop the note you are playing and switch to one of these articulations. The hotkeys can also be used to play an organic vibrato manually on the keyboard. This provides absolute freedom over intensity and speed of the vibrato. In addition, you can edit the details in your DAWs editor. Ensemble. The ensemble mode lets you turn the solo instrument into a small ensemble of violin players. You can assign the number of players from 1 to 5, adjust the stereo spread and the detuning of each player. Settings. In the settings page you can adjust many general settings for the instrument. Depending on your favourite workflow you can edit the behaviour of the faders. You can also edit the detail of the release samples. You can activate round robin, edit the keyboard dynamic curve, change the pitch bend settings and attack decay sustain and release. There is also a sordino switch with adjustable frequency which simulates a sordino style playing for all of the articulations. The built-in micro tuner lets you shift the individual notes of the scale including various presets of common classical tuning techniques. DSP effects. A subpage of settings contains the DSP effect rack including reverb, delay, chorus, phaser, flanger, compressor, EQ and filter. Vibrato. There's a whole page dedicated to vibrato. 
The vibrato can be customised in many ways, intensity, speed, volume, tuning and even an EQ with adjustable frequency and bandwidth. Usually the vibrato is controlled via CC1, the mod wheel, but you can also design the vibrato behaviour over time and choose auto vibrato to keep your left hand free. And don't forget the hotkey vibrato, which also relates to the settings on the vibrato page. For more information about Chris Hine solo violin, head to chrishine.net or bestservice.de, where you can also hear demos and access support materials. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye now.